All right, here we are on air streaming South by Southwest 2013. The the whole conference continues to grow every year and uh, it amazes me every single year. Now, what's cool about you guys, this is on and on, by the way. Hello. And hello. Welcome to on air streaming. You guys have gotten some accolades here already because the hype starts to build about this conference around January, first week of January. Everybody starts talking about who's coming who's committing, what's going to happen, who's got new music coming out. And you guys were picked by Time Magazine as the artist to watch. Not on a list of 100 or 200, and even that would be great because two, 3,000 come. You're the one to, walk, to watch. How did that happen? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea, but we were driving down here and we saw it online and we were we, we all peed our pants so <laughs> we didn't even pull over we didn't we were like oh shit like that was amazing yeah we we were really floored and so honored and I mean that's amazing so how do you as you're here a couple days into it how do you capitalize on that does it give you some extra swagger or does it put more pressure on your shoulders it definitely put wind in our sails I would say our, our van went a little faster um, <laughs> down to South By. Yeah, we were really excited. We have been touring a lot this year, and um, which is amazing. You get to see so many places and meet people and play shows. Um, but it is tiring, and so we were just another like momentum thing when that happened. It was awesome. Yeah, and we're we're not really ones to swag, you know. Like that's it, we're we were really really like honored by that happening. But right. it, we really have seen it. Like our we're playing like a dozen shows, mm -hmm. and and so that's obviously like a ton. But we're seeing like really good crowds, and I feel like what everyone dreams of like South by being like is actually happening for us. Mm -hmm. So it, we we're so grateful and and excited to be able to be playing to. Potentially, like every, I mean, every show, whether it's in the backyard of a taco place or in a venue or whatever, um, it really feels like we're doing something. And, and that's like that's the dream feeling for a band, you know, that cares about what they do and that sort of like we're doing something and something's happening. So we're, and you know, uh, a, lo a lot of times on the road, um, you know, just backstage stuff, stuff goes missing. And I noticed as you did your pared down performance with us, very unique. What would happen if that 1983 <laughs> jam box went missing? I was just telling him before the interview started, I was like, your silver tone's still in the airstream. <laughs> yeah. He was talking about the boom box. I'm talking about the oh, boom box. The bo oh, yes. I'm, I'm seeing the silver tone up there now. <laughs> that is the boom box I grew up with. Is that right? And so when I, I mean, there's home videos of me being like three years old watching those lights like as the music would go oh and it's just it's it was really cool to bring what out what cassettes today. were in that boom box there is this one phantom cassette that i'm trying to find it's like this obscure 80s synth stuff that was like really influential for me i was like dancing in the curtains when i was little so i'm gonna be on ebay looking for that later <laughs> <laughs> well we appreciate you guys coming on uh coming in here to the airstream on and on definitely one to watch in the next year and keep an eye on it, and uh, pretty cool to have you in here as you were named the band to watch for the year, right? Thank you so much for having us. Enjoyed having you. Thanks.